morning and welcome back to my channel today is going to be a fun day but also a work day um so much to chat with you guys about it it's 6 45 in the morning i've been up since 6 30 just naturally woke up i'm like who am i becoming because there i am normally oversleeps i'm going into our downtown office today i haven't been to our downtown office probably since I don't know. It's been months. I really don't know when the last time was. Anyway, but I'm going in today, not really because I want to, but I was slash am a part of this mentorship circle at my job. Let me sit down and tell y'all more about it. Hold on. Okay, I decided I'm not going to sit down, but basically an ERG, which is an employee resource group. Most companies have these basically where groups of different types of people can meet, have community, and things like that. And you don't have to necessarily be a member of that community to join. So we have like our black ERG, our LGBTQ plus ERG, Asian Pacific Islander ERG, disability, um, young professionals, just a lot of different communities. And so our black ERG had like this mentorship circle and I've been in it since maybe August, September. And it's been really cool. We've done a lot of training and development, professional development, leadership training, networking. And today is like the capstone event. So we're having like a graduation ceremony and we're going to, so we're gonna be at our, our downtown office for like our graduation ceremony. Then we're going to go to, we have another office, but it's not a traditional office. Um, we're gonna go down to that one. The morning will be the graduation event. Then we'll have lunch. Then we'll go to the new place, the new office. We'll do a tour of that. Then I think we'll have work time. Then we'll have speed networking. Then we're going to have dinner somewhere. And then they have a bus that's gonna go back to the north suburbs. So that is my day. Um, going to this place called Uwe. It is, it looks so good. It's a soul food restaurant. I'm very, very excited. But anyway, 6.45 in the morning. I need to leave here around eight. So we have about an hour to get ready. I think I want to make breakfast here. I think they're going to give us breakfast as well, but I know myself. I don't really eat a lot at things like this, so I want to make sure I eat before. We're going to take a quick shower. We're going to get dressed, and then we're going to make our breakfast and then pack our bags for the day and just get mentally ready. So let's kick off this vlog. Let's do this. By the way, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that lovely red subscribe button down below so you can join the family. I am someone who has to learn from my mistakes. My mistake today is that I need actual work shoes. I think I'm going to go with these pants and these shoes just because I don't have any other shoe options. Though. Like It's actually quite embarrassing. I have another pair that I could do. These are more walking friendly. I don't know. And I'm also not feeling this top right now. I think it's the shoes. I feel like if I had some heels, this would look fine, but I don't know. I'm trying to find something that works with the sneakers, but I think that's going to be harder than I expected, to be honest. I think I'm going to go with this. This is different. This is kind of like cool girl vibes. I may do a necklace, um, then I have my work bag, and I'll probably bring my jean jacket with me because I get cold very easily. But yeah, so we just need to steam the top. The pants are fine. I will try this on with a blazer just out of curiosity, but I think I am cool with just rocking with this like casual, I have a coffee date after work type of vibe. No, oh my God, no. Can someone tell me why every time I fall in love it seems to be I did a light makeup my eye bags I really just do not understand these things anyway we're gonna steam our shirt real quick it is 7 wow 747 so we really have about 20 minutes until we want to head out I do need to go downstairs and grab my jacket for my car and then um, pack my bag and stuff so 
we need to get moving. So going into turbo mode now. Now is the fun part of the vlog where we get to pack our bag. Um, I really use my carry-on bag my carry-on bag because I don't have a designated work bag at the moment. And I just literally never go into the office. So like, is there really any benefit? So I'm taking on all this random crap, emphasis on crap, in the airport. And now we're gonna add in our real stuff. And today is not a work heavy day, so we really don't need a lot of stuff. We're gonna bring a pencil, some headphones or earphones, my work laptop, work laptop, um, they, I feel like they used to have chargers in the office before the pandemic, but now there's no charger, so I gotta bring my own charger. Charger, bringing a book, some Vaseline. Normally I bring a notebook, but I feel like I don't need a notebook today. Cause like I said, I'll really be doing minimal work. I'm gonna bring my jean jacket. It's gonna be really simple today. I have my Apple Watch. That's really it. Oh, wallet, wallet, hand sanitizer work id airpods i'm a little nervous because i don't know where my work id is never mind i thought i had moved it but it's right here so we'll put this in a safe pocket and i believe that is it so it's like eight o'clock 801 so let's go down to our car grab my jean jacket and then um we're gonna head out this should be an interesting day hopefully it's fun i don't know if i told you guys this but i'm definitely going to be the youngest person for the event so that is always interesting but i'll show y'all my final look once i'm like actually leaving all right now this is the ootd i'm taking my minky blue bag as my work bag this random top i even got from ross burlington i have no idea pants are from zara i love them i want them every color and then my puma sneakers and then we're gonna grab our jean jacket and then be on the go let me just double check to make sure i have my work badge yeah that's really all i need so uh, let's go. That you already got someone. She's lucky to be standing by your side. Won't look in your eyes. And I wish it could be different because you and me have such a good vibe. Good vibe. But when she calls you up, it's all you look at life. I wish that there was us. And I'm trying to put your soul Right, it is hot, but we are in route. It's really, really, really hot actually, but it's okay. All right, y'all, I'm in the elevator going up to the office. I won't be able to vlog too much because I really don't like just having my phones out, but I'll vlog as much as I can. Hopefully it's fun. Hopefully the breakfast is good. I just feel like I have so much to catch y'all up on. Oh my goodness. I totally could not vlog today. Like, I really, like, how I, I guess normally would in the office. Even when I'm normally in the office, it's hard. But today was such a good day. I feel so, so great. So let me change out of my clothes and then I'll give y'all the 411 of my day. It was just so good. I had such an amazing day. And I really wasn't expecting it to be an amazing day. I thought it was just going to be okay. But just so many like positive things happened today. I feel very filled. Last time we truly, truly chatted, I was walking to the office, got to the office. Uh, I was a little sweaty, by the way. I was like, oh, I feel like I need to bring like wipes with me if I'm wearing something like long sleeve. Or even if I wasn't wearing something long sleeve, I just, I don't know. Anyway. Got to the office, they had breakfast there. Um, I just had like two croissants. And then we started our graduation program. And so there was like an overview of the program, like a summary of what we did. Everyone did like impact statements. So they played those. And then we had a keynote speaker from someone who's the director of our new office. And she did such an amazing talk. I really should have taken notes, but it was very, it was very like informal, so I feel like it would have been a little weird if I would have pulled out my laptop and I'm typing away. Just hearing about like how she was kind of sick of, I'm not gonna say having a purposeless career, 
but she really wanted to do she kept saying she really wanted to do something that was civics minded um because she's a civics minded person and this all happened after george floyd was murdered back in may 2020 and just talking about how this conversation that she had with her manager where essentially she told him i quit and basically they basically convinced her to stay on for a little while longer until she really figured out what she wanted to do but just how that just really sparked this whole like not movement because the thing the center that she's over was already in the works but like i don't know it, it, it's just beautiful and just seeing the center today and just seeing so many people that look like me i can't tell you how many girls i saw in there with long braids how many people i saw who had brown skin just like people that would be my friends on a day-to-day -day basis that i just i'm i'm not around if we're being honest that much i think I am not around black people very often. I am not around black people as often as I used to be. Like growing up, black church, black school, black community, college, HBCU, only black people, a few white teachers. Um, but now that I'm in the corporate America space, I have more diverse friend groups. I have friends who are maybe Asian, South Asian, black, white, Hispanic, a part of the Latinx community, just different backgrounds. And it's, it's, it's different because that's not what I'm used to. And of course, I love and appreciate those friendships, but um, it was just refreshing to be around my people. But it was just really, really good. And just seeing how my company is giving back to a community that needs it, it really made me feel proud of where I work. And I'm not gonna say I wasn't proud before, but I don't know. I just, I almost got a little emotional when we were going on the tour because it's really amazing work. And there's so much drive and passion there. And I know it's really gonna help. And just talking to the workers was really great. Great time at the office. Then we went to this restaurant called Ooi. It is. Y'all need to go to Ooi. I will be going back there. I think I'm gonna see if my friend Bob or Camille wants to go down there. It was so freaking good. Probably the best soul food that I've had. The Hennessy wings, amazing. Y'all saw that. The mac and cheese. Some of the best mac and cheese I've ever had in my life. So good. The yams. I called my mom. I was like, mom, you used to have the best yams, but I think you're second place. So, so good. <sighs> amazing. We also got appetizers. We got the pot roast cupcakes. It was just a really positive experience. The staff was super, super nice. This is in Southside Chicago. You have to go. It was so good. Like I cannot advocate for Uwe more. Again, um, it was just really great. Good conversations. I had like an eye-opening conversation regarding graduate school, and I'll talk about that more in the future because I still need to think about it before I put that out in the air. But it was just such a good day. I feel very fulfilled. I feel very happy. I feel like I'm ready to go to work tomorrow. I'm gonna log on to work early tomorrow. Well, I kind of have to because I'm working until 12, so I'm probably gonna do like eight to 12 so I get a full day in, but just, a great day and I just feel very thankful for where I'm at right now obviously life is not perfect y'all know I make that clear life is not perfect but I don't know I just feel very blessed about my experience today so anyway I'm gonna go call my cousin I got like so many calls today my grandma called me my aunt called me my cousin my mom Justin like such a good day such a good day oh,